We do begin with a visit by Joe Biden and his wife Jill to Kenosha. Thanks for joining us. I'm Melissa Langben. The Bidens met with community members and the family of a black man shot by police. News 9's Phil Aldridge is in our newsroom right now, and he has a look at what happened today. Phil. Melissa, the Democratic presidential nominee spoke privately with the family of Jacob Blake, whose shooting by police after being tased twice sparked days of rioting, followed by nonviolent protests. At the meeting, a Blake family attorney says they talked about the treatment of minorities in police interactions and what they call the need for systematic reform, as well as Biden's plans for change. The former vice president also met with community leaders at Grace Lutheran Church, where he delivered a message of healing and hope. So what's happened is that it, we end up in a circumstance like you had here in Kenosha and have here in Kenosha. I honest to God believe we have an enormous opportunity to do a lot of really positive things. Biden also spoke about racial divisions in the country and prison alternatives, such as rehabilitation programs and the need for more affordable housing. Like he did for President Trump's visit two days earlier, Governor Tony Evers had asked Biden not to come to Kenosha, Melissa. Thank you, Phil. 